three arguments inside of it, separated by semicolons. The first is going to be our, um, our increment. So i, which is going to in this case stand for increment, equals 1. So we'll start with that. So i is going to start with 1, and we're going to say i, as long as i is less than or equal to bullet capacity, right? So this, this, this loop, this for loop, is going to run as long as i is less than or equal to 5. And then we're going to plus plus i. Oops, i. And that will add 1 to i. So then each time we go through the loop, we, this, the, every time we go through the loop, this will um, uh, make i larger. And then i will be equal to 2. And then we'll evaluate it. Is i less than bullet ca capacity? And if it's 2, yes. So then we execute whatever's in here. Um, as soon as i is uh, pushed to 6, however, then this argument will be false and we won't execute whatever's here. But to begin with, it will be true because i starts as 1 and we'll say temp bullet, temporary bullet equals attach movie. We'll attach the movie from our library. Which movie will we attach? The movie clip bullet. We'll give it a new name of, same name, bullet, I believe. And we will set it to, let's see here, um, bullet depth. Is that what we set up top? Yes, bullet depth. We'll set it to bullet depth. Okay, and once again, I have word wrap on, so this is all the same line. It's just wrapping over to the next line. Okay. All right, that sounds good. All right, next line. Then we'll say temp bullet dot underscore x equals 560. Oops, I forgot the equal sign. And and y will equal 560. And then I'll go to the next line. And I'm going to change this to x scale is going to copy, paste, equal y scale change that to a y, and that will equal, let's say, 40 for 40 percent. So temp bullet, the x scale, the width of the bullet, and the y scale, the height of the bullet will be 40 percent what I drew it as. And each time this loops through, it's going to create a variable called temp bullet and attach the movie, the bullet, and um, Let's see here. Each time it attaches, this bullet will um, be overwritten unless we change the name. So I'm going to say that the new name of this bullet, when I attach movie, is going to be bullet plus I. Okay? Bullet plus I. All right, that looks good. And every time it comes in, we're going to need to um, move it over to the, light, uh, the right. So we'll say plus I times 10, right? So that the first bullet will be i, it'll be 1 times 10, so it'll be 560 plus 10 will be 570, and the next one will be 2 times 10 is 20, so that'll be 590, and so on and so forth. Should we see if this um, is going to work? Control Enter, Start, and there's one of my bullets showing up at the bottom but not all of them. So we have to figure out why, we're, why that is. Uh, let's see here. Bullet depth. How about this? Plus I. If we load two movie clips at the same depth, in this case bullet depth, with its 50,000, then they'll just load right on top of each other, replacing the previous one. So we hit Control-Enter. And there's my bullets, right? 
So that's what this block of code did is um, when reload gun is called, pass the variable one makes it true. So this does not execute, right? What executes is the else statement. We set the word, the variable bullets to the capacity, which is five. Then we set up a for loop. We have our increment, which is one, our argument, as long as it's less than bullet capacity. And then we actually, um, we actually uh, increment the, the variable. Um, the uh, bullet is attached from the library. It's given a new name of bullet plus whatever i is equal to, which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, respectively. And then we set it at the depth, also plus i. And that way we can um, attach, with this loop, we're attaching five bullets to the stage and each giving each one a new name. Okay, um, I'm going to um, close this movie and come back in the next one.